Hi and welcome to this training session from MyTech New Zealand. I'm Steve Cole, I'm the Southern Regional Manager. Our company manufactures, designs and distributes the range of Gangnock Connector, Lumberlock and Bomac brands. The focus of this training segment is to introduce you to the use of our Lumberlock and Bomac range of products. To make it easy for you, I've broken it into three separate segments. The first one being a general overview of a house structure and the use of our products within that. The second segment is a more in-depth view of our Lumberlock and Bomac products through using the on-site guide. The third segment, I'm going to introduce you to our This Is How You Do It series of videos, which deals with the on-site application. So, let's get started. The fundamental point of the Lumblock and Bomac product is that they are essentially the glue that holds the skeleton of the house together from the effects of wind, snow, earthquake and other construction loads. This overview is going to give you some insight as to how this all comes together. Starting at the very top of the structure, we have our Lumberlock blue screw, which fixes the purlin to the rafter or truss cord. We then proceed down to the top plate to connect our rafter or our truss cord. A typical fixing example here would be the use of a CPC80, which is an internal connection, or a CT200, which is an external connection. There is a need to connect the top plate to the stud. The most common way of doing this is using the Lumberlock stud strap. Again, it is an external fixing. If you require an internal fixing, another solution is the CPC80. As we move down through the frame, there's often the need to increase the stiffness of the stud or the top plate due to the installation of, say, a vacuum cleaner or some other insulation. Here we use the Lumberlock framing stud and top plate stiffener, which simply brings both of those members back to full strength. On the way through to the bottom plate, there is a need to connect the lintels to the framing system. Now these are typically provided by the truss designer or the designer. When fixing that same structure to a timber floor, there are three fixing options which we consider. One is what's called an ordinary power connection using wire dogs. The second one is a six kilonewton connection using a combination of wire dogs and CT160s. And the third is a 12 kilonewton connection, which is a combination of CT160s and nail plates. The Bomac range of products, or the heavy duty bracketry, is typically used around verandas, or connections for post to the base or post to your veranda beams. Now inside our MyTech structural fixings guide, there are very clear descriptions of how and where you use those particular fixings. So there's the general overview of your Lumberlock and Bomac product range. Let's now have a more specific look at the individual product range through our on-site guide. The second part for our training series has a more individual look at our product range. On page three of our site guide, you will see our bracing options. The angle brace is a metal brace cut into a wall, typically located at 45 degrees and generally 3.6 long. It comes in various lengths as required. The strip brace is a coil form. It comes in coil lengths of 10, 15, and 30 meter coils, laid across typically over a roof and crossed tears to provide stability. The multi-brace is essentially a larger version of the strip brace. It comes in coil lengths of 10, 15 and 30 meter coils. The sheet brace strap is simply a connection from a wall frame to a foundation. It comes in lengths of 2, 3, 4 and 600 mil long. Next up we have our joist hanger and our tie lock plate range. Now the joist hanger is simply a method of connecting timbers at right angles. You will see here we have a range of sizes and fixing options to suit the particular timber requirements. Now the tilak plate, it's a really good on-site application for joining two pieces of timber together. We have a wide range of sizes, we carry it in coil form as well which allows you to cut to suit. But to give you an idea of the coating, for example a 6T10 would be six rows of teeth and each row of those teeth 
has 10 single teeth. Next up, we have a wire dog range. It is a simple timber connection and comes in a right-handed, left-handed or staple option in boxes of 100 and 400. The 12 kN and 6 kN pile fixing provides a common on-site fixing option where you have timber piles. The packs come complete with the required numbers of nails and screws to suit that particular fixing. The 9 and 16 kN truss to top plate fixing provides an easy on-site internal connection where we have a specific truss fixing requirement. The girt plate is commonly used in farm buildings where we're connecting a girt to a round pole. They are fixed either using nails or screws, the nail being the 30 by 3.15 lumber lock product nail, or the screws being the type 17 by 12 gauge by 35 mil long. They're sold separately and you can choose a nail or screw fixing option. The ceiling tie range is used as a simple on-site connection where one member runs over the other. They come as either a CT160 or a CT200 in both right hand and left hand options and are fixed using the Lumberlock 30 by 315 product nail. The cyclone ties provide a similar connection to the ceiling ties but are used where the loads are much higher. They are provided in either a CT400 or a CT600 size and are fixed using the 30 by 3.15 lumber lock product nail. Our nail on plates are a very common on-site connection product. They provide strong efficient fixings where large loads are involved. They come in three thicknesses being 1mm, 2mm and 3mm. The 1 and 2mm products have a variety of pre-cut lengths but are also in coil form to allow cutting to specific lengths. The three more product range is cut to length as required. The diagonal cleat is a strong joint used for a number of right angle joint options. It comes as either a right hand or left hand orientation and is fixed with either the Lumberlock 30 by 3.15 product nail or our Type 17 12 gauge by 35 mil long screw. The ordinary pile fixing is a simple pile to bear connection using a combination of nails and wire dog staples. Now the packs come complete with nails and wire dogs. The Lumlock screw tie is a simple screw connection that connects a brick veneer to a stud wall. Depending on the brick cavity size, we have two lengths available being 85 millimeters and 105 millimeters. They're packaged in box lots including the screws. The split hanger is used where we require a right angled connection. It is needed where the timber thickness is outside that of our standard joist hanger range. It uses a simple screw connection using our Lumberlock 35mm Type 17 by 14 gauge screw. They are sold separately and you buy your screws as you require them. The I-beam hanger is specifically designed to provide a connection for the range of I-beams used in floor or roofs. They come in a range of options to suit the beam sizes and are either face fixed or top hung depending on your installation requirements. The concealed purlin cleat range offers a wide range of simple on-site fixings. Using a combination of screws and or nails, they come as either a CPC 40 being 40 millimeters wide or a CPC 80 being 80 millimeters wide. Sold as individual products and you can choose your combination of screws and or nails to suit. The concrete fixing cleat provides a fixing option for timber to masonry. Using a fixing option of either screws or nails to the timber member, it is connected to the structure using suitable 12mm masonry anchors. They are provided complete with a washer and your choice of either using nails or screws as the timber fixing option. The multi grip is a common on site application with many uses. It is a right angled timber to timber connection fixed using either 30 by 3.15 lumber lock product nails or the Type 17 12 gauge by 35mm screw. There is a provision to fold the legs over to suit the specific fixing setup. Once again, the user has a choice of either a screw or nail fixing. The 6 kN and 12 kN start to bottom plate fixing, as you will see, uses the CPC 80 connection. It is designed to connect a stud to a bottom plate, 
and a single connection will give you 6 kilonewtons, where a pair of them will give you 12 kilonewtons. The product is provided in the pack with all the relevant fixings. The stud strap is a very common connection where we connect a top plate to a stud. It is applied generally on the outside of the frame and can be fixed over either the top plate or the top plate packer. The stud tie does the same job as the stud strap, but can only be applied over the true top plate. The framing stud and top plate stiffener provides the ability to replace the loss of strength due to holes cut in a stud or a top plate due to plumbing, electrical or some ventilation system. The maximum hole size can be up to 60 millimeters. The product comes complete with all the relevant fixings required. The strap nail is a general on-site connection and provides a simple and efficient way of connecting two pieces of timber together. The bottom plate hanger is designed to connect a timber wall to a concrete foundation. Temporarily fixed to the boxing, it allows the floating off of the concrete and the installation of the wall frames without the interference of cast-in anchors. The header block anchor does the same job as the bottom plate anchor. It is installed where the header block is used to form the concrete slab perimeter. The product is clipped over the block edge and left till the slab is poured and the frames are ready to stand. The 12 can retro pile fixing does exactly the same job as the 12 kN pile fixing as we mentioned earlier on. Here we have developed it to provide easy fixings for relocatable houses where all the connections used are the type 17 by 12 gauge by 35 mm screw. They're sold in the packs complete with all the relevant fixings required. The Lumberlock Crackmate is a simple preformed crack inducer for all concrete surfaces. It eliminates the need for concrete cutting and is supplied in 3 meter lengths. It is inserted in the wet concrete and screeded off flush with the surface. Available in strips of 5, the Little Gripper is a simple snap off connector suitable for fixing your building wrap, shade cloth or plastic sheeting. The closet rail and closet tube provide an attractive and economical alternative to galvanised pipe or timber rails in wood rope situations. Available in lengths of up to 3.6 metres, it comes in either an option of white powder coated or a mill finish. The Lumberdock nail range includes the 30 by 3.15 product nail, typically used on our products that require some form of nailing. They are provided in 25 kg. 5 kg and 500 gram packs. We also have the spiral rolled and annular grooved nails which are supplied in 1 kilogram packs. The screw range are typically a type 17 by 12 or 14 gauge with a maximum length of up to 75 millimeters. They are provided in either electro galved, galvanized or stainless and come in packs of 100. Finally there is the Lumberlock blue screw. This is specifically designed to fix a purlin or a batten to the truss cord or rafter. This unique 80mm by 10 gauge screw comes in blue colour for easy identification on site. It is sold in boxes of 250. Page 13 to 19 on the on site guide indicates the amount of lumberlock products that we have available in stainless steel. This is designed to deal with the durability issues required by our building standards. We now turn our attention to the Bomec range of products. As I said in the early introduction, the Bomec is a heavy duty bracket range, typically 4 or 5 mil thick. We provide a large range of structure fixings that typically fix timber to timber, timber to steel or timber to concrete. By reading through the Bomec catalogue you will see the obvious fixing options for post to beam connections, straps, angle brackets beam support and pole brackets. All of these details are fully supported with dimensional specifications to allow the designer or builder to select the correct product use. Pages 27 to 29 show the full range of Bomec products that are available in stainless steel to again address the durability requirements of the building standard. 
To further assist in the design and correct selection of the BOMAC products, we have included a section that is called Building with BOMAC. This allows the designer to identify the correct product use based around the loads and dimensions of the specific fixing locations. If you need to remember any more information, have another look at this part of the video or check out the on-site guide. In this third segment, I want to introduce you to our This Is How You Do It series of videos. There are two types. The first is a simple step-by-step -step guideline on how to do the correct on-site product installation. We cover off the most commonly used and asked about products. The second is aimed specifically at the designer or specifier and provides them with clear guidelines on the correct product or design choice. Here's an example of one of those videos. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly use the Lumberlock blue screw when fixing a purlin or a batten. This particular example is a D-type using two screws. Here's how you do it. Before you start, a good idea is to give all the screws a quick spray with silicone. Begin by making sure the screws are lined up centrally along the raft or truss cord. And keep an eye on your edge distance. Then screw in place. Make sure the screws sit flush with the face of the timber. That's how you do it. For further technical information, check out the brochure inside the Perlin box. This product is available from all leading builders, hardware merchants throughout the country. Now for easy access, each one has its own QR code. At the front of your guide, we've provided one QR code that will access the whole range in one step. These are perfect for any particular client that requires more information. Well, that's it from me. I hope you've got something out of this training module. If you've got any further inquiries, please don't hesitate, give us a call at MyTech.